a, a spokesman, a surrogate for Governor Romney. Speak now, John Sinun, of course, is the former governor of this state, New Hampshire. Uh, he supports uh, uh, Governor Romney for president. He was also White House Chief of Staff, of course, for the first President Bush. Governor Sinun, let me ask you a, a particular point here. Should candidates be responsible for ads put on the air by their former staffers and friends in their interests? Should they be responsible for the content of those ads? Then, uh, look, you guys are, are, are reveling and wallowing in ridiculous perception of what's going on. There's a law out there that defines what can and can't be done by those PACs, and all the candidates are following the law. And to suggest that, that uh, Governor Romney shouldn't know what's in that ad with all the clippings that have been out described it. Come on, stop being ridiculous and get to the point. You guys don't even but understand New Hampshire seen. politics. When you think there's something bad about tithing your time to serve, if there's any state that understands that Mitt Romney going in and serving and giving his time and going back to the private sector is a normal part of the process, it's New Hampshire. Stop being ridiculous and talk about the issues, the job problems in this country, the need to cut spending, okay. and the need to cut taxes. And, and when the governor used the word uh, ridiculous, that, you guys avoid just repeating it. the word. Governor, repeating the word ridiculous doesn't make it so. I was in Iowa and couldn't get away from the ads run by your candidate again and again There's and again. There's nothing wrong with saturating it. Saturating that with negativity and then saying he isn't responsible. I'm asking you, is a candidate He's responsible, not responsible for the content? Do you know what the law is? I know if what the law know is. What We're the talking law about is. how don't laws pretend, can be used. The question is, should a candidate be, be responsible? Should the candidate be you guys, responsible you for the ads have you an say no? You agenda that you want to drive and you have no idea what the rules well, and regulations are. Well, you're the surrogate, sir. You obviously are here with an agenda. Are following. Okay, let me ask you. Come on. Let me ask you one last time. Do you think the law is a good law that allows candidates to destroy no, the their opponents without changed. a signature? Everybody, okay, thank every you. candidate agrees the law should be changed. Nobody okay, likes well then, that law, but unfortunately, bad legislation put the Supreme Court in a position where they had to make that decision. Okay, uh, Gene, I've been watching this campaign. Mm -hmm. I have yet to hear a call by Governor Romney for reform in campaign advertising. I haven't, I haven't heard that either, but I'm curious as to why Governor Romney why said he had... Uh, uh, Governor Sununu, why, why did uh, Governor Romney say he hadn't seen the ads uh, if, in fact, obviously he had? What he has seen is, is clips describing what's in the ads. You don't think he reads news clips? Come on, don't be silly. Don't be silly. So you're attesting to the fact that he doesn't see the ads before or Can after they're airing. Can I ask okay. a question? Uh, I have Jay, no idea whether got... he sees the ads, but I know he reads the news clips. Okay, I don't know why you're skirting the issue by saying he didn't watch the ads because he heard about them in the newspaper. I don't why are know you dodging he the issue the ads, but of I'm responsibility? You, everything that he talked about has been described in the news clips. And if you guys aren't smart enough to understand that, you got a real problem. Okay, let me ask you, Governor, let's lower the temperature here for a second. We'll notch it back on my end as well. Let me ask you this. He ran against Ted Kennedy, and I agree. We all agree that was an uphill battle. It wasn't a suicide campaign, but it was a very difficult campaign. And he took credit for the fact that uh, Governor Romney forced Ted Kennedy to actually mortgage his home to pay for campaign ads near the end to protect his uh, incumbency. Fair enough. He lost that. He began running for president. He ran for governor, of course. He served just one term. His poll numbers were very low. There is very good reasons to indicate he didn't run for re-election because he wasn't going to get re-elected. What's wrong with admitting he's a career politician, having spent since 1994 in electoral pursuits. What's wrong with saying it? Why keep you guys, pretending you that he's decide, not a politician? You gotta decide whether you you got to decide whether you want to attack him for being a career politician or attack him for all the successes he had as a career right. private sector guy. How, how right. can you be a career both? You guys don't know which way to go and which way to go after him. He's a career private sector guy that understood how to create jobs, took it to Massachusetts right. for a period of time, right. and went back to the private sector. Now he's running for president. He'd like to take that right. talent into the Oval Office and start creating jobs for America and fix the mess that your guy Obama's caused. Right, fair enough. Your guy too. Let me, he's your president as well. Let me, let me ask you, Governor, about the why, let me just attest to why this is an important part of this debate. 
There's a lot wrong with this country right now, not just in terms of the economy, but with our whole civic sort of morality right now. We have too much division in the country. We have a country that doesn't trust its own government. These are clear facts. So what the game is right That's now right. in politics, and all the candidates are playing, let's admit that, is to say they're not responsible. Everybody from Rick Perry, everybody's not from Washington, everybody's not a politician, everybody's just a citizen, everybody's an innocent out there. So it is not a ridiculous argument to have right now, which we're having, over the clear nature of what a person's profession is been. Mitt Romney has attempted to live his life in politics and has failed on a number of occasions. That's all that's being said by his opponents. You say that's not fair. No, what I say is that you got to put a context on it. He, he took a chunk of his life and went to the Olympics. He took a chunk of his life and served in the private sector. He took a chunk of his life and, and served as governor of Massachusetts, and now he's willing to take a chunk of his life and be president. There's a hole there, not just one sliver. It's not just a sliver of being a career politician or a right. sliver of being a career private sector guy. It's a combination of all those things, and it's the combination okay. that he brings to the table that Fair enough. Needs a good in the White House. I, I hear the retort. I Gene, you want to respond to that? Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's an Governor, accurate answer. Okay, Governor, I enough. just wanted to ask, ask you about, it, change the subject a bit. Um, it, it, Governor Romney criticized, has criticized uh, John Huntsman for serving as a b ambassador to China under President Obama. Um, right. it, it, Huntsman today essentially said, you know, attitudes like that are why the country is divided. Uh, d does yeah. Governor Romney stick to that? Or do you subscribe to that view, having served uh, in the White House yourself, that, it, that it's not wise to serve the president when he says... Uh, when he asked you to serve. I was a Republican that agreed with the policies of my president. If, if Governor Huntsman wants to stick by agreeing with the Obama policies, then, then he should carry the burden of having been part of the Obama policies. What's more damning to Governor Huntsman are those fawning letters that he wrote drooling all over the place about Obama's policies and Obama as a leader. That's what I think is the biggest burden that Governor Huntsman carries from his service in China. Well, let me ask you, uh, Henry Cabot Lodge was uh, successful in the New Hampshire primary, uh, winning uh, back in uh, 1964, having just served, in fact, was still serving as ambassador to Vietnam under President Johnson, a Democrat. Were the voters of New Hampshire wrong to make that decision? I think the voters of New Hampshire today would not make that decision. I think there's a very different climate in the world, and I think that... Uh, that uh, if, if that situation came up, Sen uh, Senator Lodge, uh, uh, you know, former senator from Massachusetts, then Ambassador Lodge, uh, would not do as well. Well, unfortunately, uh, I, think, uh, I think you'd have to say that Huntsman is right when he said, to quote him actually here verbatim, this nation is divided, David, he said to David Gregory, because of attitudes like that. And I think what you just reflected is that we're living in a country that has a very bad attitude to the kind we had back even in the very divisive 1960s. And that's a bad no. comment about the nature of the no, electorate no, no, right no. now, people sir. People are angry. People are angry at the policies that are reflected by this administration. And they are not supportive of somebody who, in serving that administration, supports okay. those policies. That's what the issue is. It's supporting okay. bad policies. Okay. Thank you, Governor. It's always good to have you on. Governor John Sununu, a great, nice to be on, great Chris. Have a nice uh, day. surrogate for Mitt Romney. Thank you for coming on, sir, from, uh, from the debate me. side. It's, uh,